What's up guys, welcome back to Kuroji Gaming. <laughs> On this video, we're gonna be doing the introduction of uh, a few things you're gonna need for the water methanol injection kit. I think mine's a stage two, I believe. But um, it's pretty late, so I'm gonna call it a night. It's already um, like 2.05 or something like that in the morning. <laughs> so I'm exhausted, but um, I'm just gonna let you guys know what you need to get started and I'm gonna make more videos as I keep you know keep going uh, so I'll let you see what I've done thus far all right so first of all you're gonna need this punch and the reason um, you know what let, let me just start with you're gonna need this this little knife uh, this punch, a drill. Um, of course, you need the line, the nozzles that you need for your setup. Um, obviously, you can check it out and see which ones you need. <sighs> All right, the solenoid I got. You don't actually need this, but I'm going to be hooking up my tank. This is a little, tiny little tank, um, but it's going to have to do for now until I get a bigger one but uh, anyways you need a tank you need the of course the line this is another nozzle right here and for this setup it's gonna be for my diesel it's gonna be for my Dodge 3500 that's a 6.7 so I'm gonna do dual nozzles um, I don't know where my other nozzle is at. It should be around here somewhere. I don't know. It's somewhere around here. It's... Oh, man. Don't tell me I lost... Oh, there it is. Okay. So there it is. One nozzle, two nozzle. Line's gonna go to both. You need this because it's specifically for methanol. Um, you can't use Teflon tape and stuff like that. Supposed, supposedly it eats it. Um, the drill bits that I've used so far is the 7 sixteenths and this half inch. Um, the half inch I actually used to drill out this hole so that I could insert my, um, uh, come on. If you can see down there. And that's going to be your uh, low level switch so and it tells you right there how to hook it up in the installation but, anyways, yeah I used a half inch you're actually uh, you're supposed to use a three quarters uh, drill bit but I didn't have one so what I did is I used the half inch and then I just kept uh, eating up around the sides until I could actually get to fit them. Um, I've already had that installed, so, uh, cause I, I had this kit for my old uh, Honda, but uh, it'll work for this application as well, as long as you hook it up right. Um, this I actually got from AutoZone, which is great because I actually ended up cutting the a little piece here this is supposed to be the on and off switch so that pretty much the bus can get uh, power uh, what I did is I cut that part off let me show you guys uh, yeah I'll show you guys real quick I need a light where is my light? Oh, it's in my pocket. Okay. There it is. And there's the, that bus right there. And basically what I did um, is I rigged this sucker up to a switch. Um, and I'll, I'll show you guys here in a second, but let me go back and show you guys what else you're... What other tools you're gonna need? Okay, so 
You're definitely gonna need this guy. <laughs> Soldering gun, and of course a screwdriver. And I use this to pry open uh, or to take off the, the panel on um, where the, cause I hooked up, my whole system's gonna be hooked, my electrical system, my power is gonna come through the cigarette lighter. And it, you're only supposed to use, um, cause the, the cigarette lighter is a 20 amp. I think the max you can use for um, snow performance is a 10 or a 15. So I just took that uh, 20 out, put a 15 in there. Um, and I think it's it's uh, fuse number 40. Yeah. And I think 38 for the, the other one, the, the one that's always, uh, always has power. Um, the one on the left side is the one that has the key on power so it only turns on when you when you when you turn the ignition on um and this is the uh, module that i'm going to use it's the old one which i like because you can actually use the mass airflow sensor or you can actually hook it up to a boost line which it has right under See that yellow wire? That's actually for the master flow sensor. So if you're gonna use a master flow sensor, you can do it that way. But I'm gonna use a boost and see that little nub right there? Right there. Right there. That's for the boost. Sorry, my there you go. But anyways, that's for the boost. Um and just pretty simple. You just Put it on boost rather than mass airflow sensor and then you you want um the psi say you want to start it at seven so you put it somewhere in between here between the four and eleven and um for the max when you want it to be spraying full um then you set it up to whatever psi you want um i'm gonna put it to seven and then i'm just gonna max it out um, yeah, that's it on that. <sighs> okay, so what else? You're going to need a heat gun. Um, of course, something to... You, uh, I use these quick splices, and I'll show you guys where I used them. I use these to actually, you know, to use them, to tighten them, you know, to splice it. Um, I'm not going to lie, guys, it's pretty, um... Uh, it's not hard, but you guys, you know, you're going to have, uh, it's real tedious. <laughs> I'm going to use this um, indicator light to uh, let me know when it's actually being, uh, when it, the system is actually on. So when it's actually pushing some of that methanol in. And this is going to go to my low level switch on that, um, um, Tank, a methanol tank. <sighs> Let's see. All right, guys. So this is what I did. There's a little tab right here where you can hook up a switch. Um, because it's it it was empty. So all you do is you do um, you you use your drill and you uh, what which one was it? What drill bit? Um, uh, I don't know. It was the one that was on the the actual um. Uh, drill right now, so I used it. I used the punch and put, and put a little hole to get it started, and then I used the drill bit that I needed to actually continue and do the hole. And that, that way, it doesn't, you know, you don't make, you know, that way it doesn't uh, walk, pretty much. Okay, and this is what I've got so far. Um, it's not the prettiest, but it, it'll work. Okay, it's they're on there pretty snug, and I actually use that because it actually helped me to hold it <laughs> that way uh you're not trying to hold it and solder it at the same time it was kind of difficult doing it like that i should have used something from the beginning but uh anyways i used the the um, screwdriver to pry it open and it's got a few tabs that you just pop off like right there and there and there and you just go around the sides until it pops off and then uh, 
here's the cigarette um, connection that plug right there so I'm little, the red and yellow I believe it's um, the power and the black and yellow is the negative um, and it just unplugs right here all right so that's where I've gotten so far um, see that's where I spliced them those quick connects and I used the blue wire and then the red wire um, let me get down underneath show you guys now this is where it's gonna kind of suck cuz you know if you're a big person it's, uh, it's gonna be pretty hard it's gonna be a little hard all righty guys all right this is where I'm at so what I did is I ran that red wire from the um, from that uh, water methanol uh, uh, that, that, that module anyways the wires right here I just have it sitting that it's not plugged into anything but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook it up to that bus um, this bus that I told you guys about uh, I'm just gonna hook it up right there and the bus goes from goes through the, there up over and where'd it go um oh and it goes back through here i put it through that clip and then i ran it all the way to this switch see so the red one's right here or i'm sorry that's the that's the black one with the blue because that's ground for that switch and then the red one um i connected to that uh the center one which um pretty much when you hit the switch it's gonna um transfer the the the, the 12 volts from the main power to the the middle one which is that that bar that bus over here so pretty much whenever i hit that switch it's going to turn on the power to this switch um or to this bar so when i hit the switch it's going to turn on the bar and anything else that's connected to it it's going to give it 12 volts and the red one is the one that i i ran through there and i connected it to the cigarette lighter so pretty much the cigarette lighter is going to give the switch the power and then from the, the, the switch it's going to give that bus the power and that's what's going to and then I'm going to hook everything up to this little bus. That way whenever I turn on that switch whatever's on here will turn on and uh, pretty much get power and that's what I'm going to connect um, that module too that module is gonna get it's gonna get uh get gonna get connected to this bus so that whenever i turn on the switch it'll it'll light up and it'll turn on and it'll you know i can kind of control the whole bar with my switch instead of hitting it, each one of these individually you can just um hit the switch and it'll turn them it'll turn them all on and if you don't want to turn one on say there's you know you can hook up lights or whatever to this bar and if you don't want to turn one of them on you just push the little tab and then it'll turn it off or you know whichever ones you want to turn on and off um uh but yeah i think that's pretty much it um like i said it's it's if you you know running all this stuff all these wires it's uh it's not hard it's just tedious and if you're a bigger person, you're gonna have a harder time. But that's pretty much what I've gotten so far. So uh, this is already good to be plugged in. And what I got one, I got the switch that has the, the light. So right now it's on. And then when I flip it down, it's gonna be off. And it's basically gonna run off that cigarette lighter. And the only reason I didn't, I, I cut the, um, that cigarette lighter, uh, the one that goes up in the front, 
is because I didn't I didn't want it to be hanging there and I, I wanted to still to use it if I needed to so I just cut it and spliced it through the back that way it's everything is hiding the bus I'm just gonna um, pretty much it's got the bus actually came with its own little m3 sticky thing and you just put it up here and it's not visible you know you gotta try to make it all clean um, uh, but yeah that's what I've done so far hmm. but uh, okay guys I'll let you guys go uh, I'm exhausted time to get some sleep I got this little harbor freight flashlight that I've been using this whole time um but it's worked I'm exhausted and my next video I'll show you guys where I actually hooked up the pump and how I hooked up some of those wires that go to the water methanol uh injection module thing up there um and then on I also got to hook up the tank and then actually drill the the holes on the manifold. Then I'll show you guys how I did that too. Um, I'm actually going to put a boost gauge so, um, just so I'll, I know uh, where my boost is and when my system should be kicking on. I mean, I'm going to know because uh, my il little indicator light's going to tell me. But uh, I want to make sure it kicks on when it says it's supposed to kick on by that module. And... You want to keep an eye on that. And another thing you could add is um, the EGT. So you pretty much know how hot your truck's running. Because you that's the whole point of this uh, water methanol kit. to keep your temperatures down. And actually get more horsepower out of it. So we'll see what it does. Because I know how this truck runs and I've been using it for a while. So uh, Okay guys. I'll let you guys go and... Uh, I gotta go. I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> but if you guys have any questions, just hit me up. And uh, please give me that thumbs up and uh, subscribe. Thank you.